Golfers, welcome back to the channel. One of the biggest questions you get asked in the lesson T is how to improve my play. So today I'm going to cover three common setup characteristics or what you class them as faults um, and how that's kind of distorting people's ability to strike their irons a little bit more crisply, a little bit more consistently. Fault number one is within the setup position. A lot of golfers will stand over the golf ball. Stance is a little bit too wide. Ball position is a little bit too far forward. The other thing we always see is a lot of golfers will shift too much pressure behind the golf ball. So what they'll do is they'll shift pressure too much into the, let's say, the right side or the trail side on the backswing. And from there, they don't actually get that weight moving forward on the downswing. It's time to get my weight from my right foot into my left foot through impact intensity from there. As you see a lot of golfers, their weight stays behind the golf ball. Everything starts to straighten too early. This right arm straightens too early. Intensity from there is the club starts to hit the ground too early and then the club starts to work up towards the sky. So we're getting the club head in the middle of our feet if we're standing nice and narrow. The ball has to move a little bit further back. So if we were to take a normal setup, feet should be shoulder width apart. The ball should be right in the middle of our feet. The moment that we get the ball moving too far forward, the tendency from there is the club is going to come in a little bit too shallow. Remember, we want to hit slightly down on an iron shot. The stance was a little bit wide previously. The weight's going to transfer a little bit further behind the golf ball. It's going to be hard to get to the left side from the right foot on the downswing. So stand a little bit narrower, that's going to enhance the chance of transferring a little bit more weight left. Ball right in the middle. And what we're trying to do from here is, as we take the club to the top of the bat swing, I just want you to feel like you're getting a little bit more pressure moving into your left foot before your hands get to the top of the bat swing. Into the impact position. So my weight's moving left, hands are ahead of the golf ball, chest opens up towards the target. And that's where we're going to use that analogy again of dragging them up. So hands are ahead of the club head as opposed to the club head getting ahead of the hands. Avoid standing too wide as if we're doing the splits. We're getting the ball too far forward where we're trying to hit an iron like a driver. Feet really narrow together so your toes are almost touching. If I sway too much off the golf ball, I'm going to lose my balance. So the main objective here is we're trying to transfer weight a little bit more left. Then we're going from our address position into the impact position. So that's how that looks. So it's almost my hips have opened up, my shoulders have opened up, and my left shoulder's staying a little bit more down. That's going to get the hands a little bit more ahead of impact, and that's going to help us create that desired compression 